The Vikramarachi Ayurveda Institute in Gampaha is one of two institutions which caters to the limited amount of students who wish to obtain a degree in Ayurvedic medicine. This group of 37 students who are now in their final year were enrolled into the institute in August 2007 based on the results of the 2005 advanced level examination. If the educational activities were conducted in a proper manner, these students would have completed their five-year course and begun their internship by now. However, the internship was delayed not due to student conflicts or other internal issues. It was simply because the officials of the institute failed to conduct the year-end examinations in a correct manner over the past four years. This inability was witnessed today as well where the arbitrary decisions of a department head led to a shortcoming. The 37 students studying in the final year were to face an examination which comes under the purview of the department head in question. The examination covers rituals and practices such as charming and devil dancing. While the examination hall which was used for conducting the examination for four other subjects recently was available, the department took steps to conduct the examination in a separate examination hall adjacent to it which was unsuitable to host an examination. Ayurvedic medicine comprises of eight fields and peace of mind is absolutely necessary in order to study and face examination that also consists of various rituals. The students were given chairs during the examination which was scheduled to be conducted for over three hours. However, the students refused to sit for the examination in such surroundings and as usual the officials took measures to postpone the exam. <laughs> Three days ago, I met with an accident and broke my hand in three places. Then on the first, the institution called me and told me that I have to sit for an examination. Since I want to sit for the final examination, I bore the pain and attended the examination. I left my house at four in the morning with my parents because I live far away. There are chairs but no desks. I do not understand how these officials expect an individual who has a broken arm to sit for the examination in such a surrounding. How much longer should these students suffer at the hands of the academic and non-academic staff of this institution which is unable to organize an examination for 37 students? Chairman of the University Grants Commission, this is over to you.